All right then, so we have at the minute our store created right here and we pass in our reducer. So the store knows which reducer is gonna interact with it. And the reducer is just a function. It takes in the state, which represents the state of the store and an initial value, which is the initial state of the application and also an action right here. So remember, if we want to edit the data in the store, we don't edit it directly. We go through a process. We first have to dispatch an action into the reducer. So it takes the action. Then down here, we look at that action and change the state on the store based on the action. And remember, we have access to the state. So this is where we can update it. OK, so let's go ahead and create an action. So an action is just a JavaScript object and it has a type property and that describes the action and it also has an optional payload of data so for example let's create a new action here we'll store this in a constant and we'll call it to do action so the idea here is that we're going to add a new to do using an action so we'll set this equal to a javascript object that's what an action is and it has a type property now normally you see the type in capital letters and it's descriptive. So I'm gonna call this add underscore to do like so. So that describes the type of this action. What is it meant to do? We want to add a to do. So that's what it does right there. That's the thing that describes the action. Then we have an optional load of data if we want to, and we can call this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it to do since that's what we're adding. And I'll just pass as the value to this, a string which is by milk, okay? So what we're doing here is creating an action which we're going to pass into this thing right here. We're going to dispatch it. And that basically means we're passing it into the reducer. The reducer can therefore take that action, can see that it's an add to do. So it knows that we want to add a to do now to the state and we know the to do it needs to add. OK, so this is the process. Now we've created the action here, but we're not doing anything with it yet. We need to actually dispatch the action. So the way we dispatch an action is to take our store that we've already created, first of all. So let's do that and then use a method called dispatch like so. Now in here, we pass the actual action that we want to dispatch. So I could pass in here the to do action like so, OK, that we've just created. So I'm saying I want to dispatch this to do action, which means send it to the reducer. Therefore, this function is going to run. We have access to the action now, which is just this thing that we passed in and we can do something with it. So for now, let us just console.log the actual action that we receive and we'll console.log the state, which is this thing that we're taking in. And remember, initially it's this. All right. OK, so if we try to run this now, what do you think will happen? Well, the console is over here on the left. I'm going to save this first of all, then I'm going to run it and just Watch what happens on the left over here. We get this logged the first time round. So that's the first time the reducer actually runs when we create the store and pass this function into it. So it runs once before we even dispatch any action, right? And we get that object right here of the state because we're logging it to the console. So the second time it runs is when we dispatch this action. And you can see down here, we get that object and the state is still the same because we've not edited that but we also get this thing right here, which is the action. We get the to do, which is buy milk and the type, which is add to do. All right. So typically what we could do is use a dispatch from a component to update the state. That's going to go to the reducer and do something with the action and maybe manipulate the state. So now we know how to dispatch actions. Let's in the next video come inside this function and actually change the state of our store to update it.